Hey, thank you for joining in. This is Goldie again. Welcome back to Google conflicting account video series. In the past, we have discussed what are Google conflicting accounts and how to deal with them, resolve them seamlessly. In this video, I wanted to bring a very specific use case, which is when you are using Google Cloud Directory Sync to provision users from your local LDAP or AD to Google, and you are also dealing with conflicting accounts, what should you do? in that specific case. And for that, let's look at the directory sync first. So you have your uh, Google Cloud Identity or Google Workspace on one side, on the other side in your firewall, you have your LDAP or AD where you will install the Google Cloud directory sync. It's essentially directory sync utility will read the information from your LDAP based on the you know uh, rules that you have created or the queries, LDAP queries that you have provided. On the other side, it will query Google Cloud Identity or Workspace, read the information from there. It will compare both the pieces of information. And finally, it will write uh, to Google Cloud Identity or to Workspace with an objective of replicating whatever you have in your LDAP or AD to Google. Okay. Now, the point to note here is that behind the scenes, Google Cloud Directory Sync leverages Google's directory API and directory API does not detect whether an account is a consumer or conflicting accounts. It will just go ahead and create that user in your Google Cloud identity or in your Google workspace, which means you will lose an opportunity to reach out to those impacted consumer accounts with a request so that they can transfer their accounts to work account, which also means they can bring the data in those consumer accounts to their work accounts. So let me show you how you can deal with this specific scenario when one side you have Google Cloud Directory Sync in place, and other side you have consumer or conflicting accounts. So number one, you should find consumer accounts. Now I have a dedicated video on how to find consumer accounts. I will put that in the description below. So please do check that out. It will give you a list of all the consumer accounts. Ideally, you should be downloading that into a CSV file. Once you have the CSV, ideally, you should reach out to those consumer accounts asking in case if they have any corporate data inside their consumer account that they created with company email address. And based on the response that you can make your decision in case if they come back saying, we created consumer account, but that was essentially for our personal use. So we do not have any data uh, which belongs to the company and we do not have anything to transfer. Then you can straight away go ahead and create their accounts in Google Admin Console uh, as their managed or work account, which means their personal account will be renamed. We covered that in the different video. Please do watch it if you haven't yet. However, in case if some of the consumer accounts come back to you saying, yes, we do have some data inside those consumer accounts that belong to the corporate and we are ready to transfer that data to you in that case you should make sure to exclude those users from google cloud directory sync now this video is not about gcds specifically but you know just to give you a summarized version of it in Google Cloud Directory Sync, you can exclude your users because it reads information from your LDAP based on your LDAP query. So when you're writing your LDAP query, you can exclude a specific group membership in which you will put your consumer accounts so that whoever is a member of that consumer accounts group in LDAP, that should be excluded to be provisioned in Google Cloud Directory. And then you will rather go to you know, Google Admin Console and take a different path for these specific users, which will be to send them transfer request. That is also covered in another video that I did very specific to that. So I'll link that in the description below as well. So I hope this might be helpful, especially when you're using Google Cloud Director Sync and have conflicting or consumer accounts to handle. Uh, in case if you have any questions, comments or feedback, do not hesitate to put that under this video and I will be happy to collaborate with that. Thank you so much.